Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 18th of April, we've got some new mods and we've got some updates. I'm kind of back, I'm still away with Mr. Sealy P and doing mod reviews, map tours and a little bit of Let's Play stuff as and when I can. Last week I couldn't do anything because our internet we had, the Wi-Fi was so appalling, couldn't post a thing. So it'll be a bit intermittent until next week, but... Here goes. Updates for today then. The map Paxton Yemi by Yamo. Uh, the map Felsbrunn 22 by The Lort. And the map Neufena Valley by Emproloop have all had updates. All three of those say they need a new save game for all the changes to take effect. The TLX Phoenix Winter Wolf by 82 Studio. The Fiat 19038 pack by Pepe978. The Forder Clambunk pack by HR Forst and Fazoigbau, the Pons Forder pack, the Pons Bison Active Frame, the Pons Forder trailer, and the uh, Kessler ND144HD, all by HR Forst and Fazoigbau, the Farmtech TDK1600 by BGamer003, and the modernised Flower Mill by ADUB Modding ABP team have all had updates. I'm going to start off with this. This is the large wheel loader shovel by Agra Modding. Large is an interesting term because we have got the Volvo buckets, which got pretty large. Um, this is uh, 2.74 megabytes download, two slots on console, 2,750 litres. I guess compared to a normal plastic bucket, it's pretty large. So you'll find this under wheel loader tools. Out on the end there, universal bucket, 5,349. Slot count comes down from 2 to 1. Takes pretty much anything. We've got the option here of scraper at the front, or tines. Tines 2. Back to scraper. We can have the lizard logo on the side there. 1, 2, or off. Actually, it'd be better if I change the main colour of the bucket to the lighter grey of the 3. So we can change the colour. And then you'll be able to see the logo a little bit better. There you go. So you can have the lizard logo stamped on the side or not if you don't want to. The design colour is for the tines themselves. We can change from yellow to a dark grey through to the light grey. If you wish. Once you've got your wheel loader. It's not a high tip or anything like that. But we can take off that cover on the front. Unfold. Takes that off. If you've gone for the tines you might have gone for the scraper. And that's that. Large wheel loader shovel by Agra Modding. Next we've got this, the Solar Garage. This is by Togrim, 9.49 megabytes download. 11 slots on console, 50,500 to buy. You'll find under build mode and sheds. It does have solar panels on the roof and it will earn you 720 pounds, euros or dollars per calendar month. We've got two sections on the ends, which you can access for storage of whatever you want, as I've said before. Bales, pallets, vehicles, a Mars bar, whatever you want to put in there, it's entirely up to you. The centre section, we have got doors that open both sides of a central pillar. And the same here, so you can have that as drive through. And then we've got an open section on the end here as well. Just there. As I said, build mode and sheds, you'll find it just there. 720 per calendar month you can earn with it as well. Fairly straightforward, the solar garage by Togrim. Next we've got this. This is the old cow shed by DMI 20mm Normandy. It's 6.14 megabytes download. It's nine slots on console. It will set you back 50 grand and it will hold 40 cows. We've got our milk trigger just here. Our slurry trigger just here. Our doors that open. So we can have it drive through. Feed and bedding. Trigger is through here. It's not very high, so you have to do this for fairly small, low trailers and ones that don't lift as well. Would be better if you need to close that door here. And then we can open this one here, which will get us the dialog box for our animals, which is just there. You can access from out here, if I just walk, there you go, you can see it's just come up there as well. So for loading or unloading with trailers, you don't have to get the trailer right inside the door. Although the trigger is showing there, you can access it from outside just here as well. Under build mode, animals, under cows, the one on the very end there, 50,000 
for 40 cows, the slot count will come down to one. That's the old cow shed by Deer Mite 20 Millimeter Normandy. Next, we've got the farm cow barns, which are these two here. Quite the capacity on these as well. These are by Chumpy Farmer, 85.4 megabytes download for the two. The first one is the smaller of the two. This will hold 250 cows, 21 slots, 125,000 to buy. As far as capacities go, I haven't filled this up because it will take 400,000 litres of straw and 750,000 litres of food if you want to fill it up. Dialogue box at the front here. Well, it depends which way round you put it. This one's facing this way. The other one I faced the other way, so the dialogue box is the other end. So it depends which way round you put it. The lighting is automatic. Now, there's a downside to these. There's no storage for manure, slurry, or milk. You have to use external storage. There's nowhere around this, or the other one, where you can access it. So if I go into this menu here, and we go up to our animals, whilst you will see them there, cow barn 250, the other one will hold 550. And it says milk, straw, slurry. There's nowhere to access it from, so you will need external storage on both of these if you want any of that stuff to be removed, which is seems a bit odd to me. I, I think it's one of the first... Normally manure, yes, if you're going to be doing manure, you need a, an external manure heap, that's fine. But for slurry and milk, it's very unusual not to have a storage built into it. Anyway, dialogue box is there. Larger opening in through here. Drive through if you want it to be. And your straw bedding and feed triggers are down the middle. Fairly straightforward. This one here, I put in... I think it was 140,000 litres of straw bedding. And it barely even registered on here. There's a little bit on the ground. And 70,000 litres of food in this one. So this one, the 550 cow capacity one. Um, did I say 550 or 500? I'm sure it said 550. That one is 24 slots, 200,000 to buy. 750,000 litres of straw and 3 million litres of feed it would take. So, yeah, I mean, you can stock it right up and let your cows chug away. But you are going to need external storage for milk, slurry and manure. If we go into our build mode back to animals it's these two just here 125,000 or 200,000 250 or 550 cows there we go farm cow barns by chumpy farmer next we've got these this is the hardy sprayer pack by jh modding 11.49 megabytes download these are slight conversions of the standard in-game ones so we have got the hardy mega we've got the hardy mega tank front tank and then we've got the hardy mercury which is the one for doing uh, vineyards for doing grapes and olives that kind of stuff i've got that one over we'll have a look at that we've got the options on these to change the color configurations but also capacities you can have unreal capacities on these i think combined that's running at twenty-five thousand liters ten thousand on the front and 15 on the back you don't have to, you can leave it on the standard capacities, but it just gives you option then to change colours and that kind of stuff on it as well. So a little bit of a tweak to the standard in-game stuff. If we go to our sprayers, so you see the standard one there, so the Mega 1200 litre, the Mega 1200 litre tank, and then we go across till we get to these two here. I think the prices are the same as well, aren't they? Yeah, 34,000, 500, 5,000. Um, slot count, nine and three that will spread out to 24 meters liquid fertilizer or herbicide you have decals yes or no so if you don't want the hardy decals on you don't have to have them on there capacity standard at 1200 liters or as i said 15,000 for the sprayer itself main color anything on that palette at all does the framework design color does the tank and then if we go to the front tank 1,500 litre or 10,000 for the Unreal. Decals, again, yes or no. Same options available on this for... Hang on, there we go. Main colour and tank. And if we come out of there and we go to our grape technology, which is just there, there's the Mercury 4000 standard in game. Out on the end there. 28 grand to buy, slot count of 5. Uh, we'll come down to one four meter spread 
options again, decals yes or no. Capacity standard or unreal, 15,000 litres. Main colour. Design colour. Rim colour option on this one. And licence plate option on there. Two. So, start her up. We have lights in the front tank. They operate the same as the standard in-game ones, but I thought I'd show you anyway. You can change the spread width once it's open from 24 meters, 18, 12. Does that say seven and two? Yeah. I'm a long way away from telling. I'm struggling to see. And we have got the option to raise and lower the boom as well, depending on what crops you're spraying over. So that's the sprayer mega with the tank. Then bear with me a second. We've got the Mercury, of course, in Mr. Silpy Green. 15,000 litres. Should keep you going when you're doing your vineyards and olives. There we go. As I said, they operate the same as the standard in-game ones. It's just a few extra options and capacity. So there you go, that's the Hardy Sprayer Pack by JH Modding. Next, we've got this. This is the Lizard 4100 by Vinco Mods. 8.44 megabytes download, six slots on console, 45 horsepower. As you can see, you can put the, uh, I'll say bonnet, um, cover, I guess. It sounds like a lawnmower when it's running, but it looks fantastic. It's a very interesting... Um, Interesting looking bit of kit. Especially if you go with the canopy on there as well. Almost as like a toy really, but anyway, you'll find these. Under vehicles, small tractors. Oh, and then they're 4,500, that's all. For the base model, we've got wheel set up. Those. We've got the front grid, yes or no. For protecting it if you wish roof yes or no with work lights or off I'll leave with the work lights so you can see it then we've got weight for the front yes or no exhaust standard one two three four five back to standard rear light we've got standard you have rear lights on the back. If you go for that option, you've got your indicators left or left and right. If you go for that one, rear light and work light, you've got a rear light on the right-hand side, which does give you a rear light, but it only gives you the right indicator because the left indicator has been replaced with a rear work light. So if you're the sort of person that likes to use your indicators, you may feel that you'd, uh, you'd rather go for that option rather than that one. Work light only or off completely. Main colour. Anything on that palette, rim colour, anything on that palette, and a license split option on there too. We hop into this one, start it up. You see the lights, work lights. If you've gone for the canopy, you've got the work lights front and rear as well. Then R1, right stick side to side on PlayStation controller. We can open and close that. A whopping 15 miles an hour. It does sound good though. First person. For that price as well, there's all sorts of cool things you can find for this to do, I think. There's plenty of small machinery around now. And then without the canopy. Let's just close that back up again, actually. Very nice indeed. 
the Lizard 4 to 100 by Vinco Mods, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. No maps today. We've got this. This is the Massey Ferguson 8S Special Edition by Bandit 36FR. 15.4 megabytes download, 29 slots on console. Now, I was talking to Mrs. Silly P about this. When I went to Agrotechnica, uh, a few years ago now, with uh, Virtual Pharma and Giant Software for doing commentating on esports, the prototype of the 8S hadn't come out yet, and this was what they had on the stand. I've got some video, if you go back through my vlogs, of myself and uh, VF looking at this. The Lunar version. It does look quite cool, though, I have to say. So, anyway. Yeah, Massey Ferguson 8S Special Edition. You'll find it under medium tractors. Out there on the end. 192 grand for the base model. Slot count will come down to two. So we've got special edition. Standard. That special edition at 265 horsepower or 305 horsepower. So those two. And then the lunar version. Luna or Looney? Hmm, you'll see in a minute because um, there's some other additions that you can have. All back to standard. Uh, we'll look at this version. If you go for the Luna version, when you go to change the wheel brand's wheel setup, nothing else changes. You can change the antennas, beacons, that kind of stuff, but the wheel options won't change if you've gone for the Luna version. So if I go back to that one, at least we'll be able to have a look at some of the tyre choices. We have got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitis, PKT, Registein, Nokian, back to Trelleborg. And the Trelleborg we have got... Michelin, Continental, Midas, PKT. Frenchstein, Nokian, and back to ball again. Antennas and GPS. We have got left antenna, right antenna, both. GPS with left, with right, or both, or off completely. We've got beacons. This runs through beacons 1 through to 9, I think it is. Various different sizes and shapes. The last three, I think, being strobes. I'm sure, yeah. We've got 7, 8 and 9, I think, are all strobes. Then we've got warning signs. Warning sign with wide rear fender. No front fender with warning sign with a large fender with both. Back to standard. Then we've got tinted windows. Blue tint, yellow tint. Back to no. Then we've got LEDs. We've got no front flashing LEDs on the front grille. Got a roof bar or both. Then we've got the horn, the multi horn here. This gives you some musical tune. You'll see in a minute. I'll say musical. I'm telling you this now. When I do one of them, Farm Dog hates one of them. They are very loud. I'm just going to say that now. So you can have those visible or not. Front loader attacher, quick power off, and license plate option on there as well. So let's hop into this one. I love the lighting, it's fantastic. This one I did go for flash units front and roof and I went for strobe, clear strobes for the beacons as well. Let's turn all those off. Now what we do have, uh, I'll just turn around into the lights a little bit so we can see a bit better. On the back there L1, R1 and left stick side to side. We can raise and lower the hitch. 
There's nothing for doors and windows, but if we go inside, it's difficult to tell with the tint here. Uh, but L1, R1, and right stick side. No, hang on. Which one is it? That one. Left stick. L1 and left stick side to side. Does the left mirror. Right stick up and down does the right mirror. So we've got some mirror adjustment. Interior. Nice detail. I think when I went for the lunar option, it gave me a carpet option as well. So I went for white carpet in there because well, you just would, wouldn't you? So, you're ready for this. <laughs> R1, right stick side to side. Yep, up and down. That's the one Farm Dog does not like. L1, R1, and right stick side to side. Up and down. <laughs> I told you. It's the loony version, not Luna. And the normal horn just sounds a bit pathetic after that, really. It is a very nice looking bit of kit. So, hop out. I went for the narrow twos on this. Now, it doesn't have the visible horns, but you've still got them, if you want them, of course. Whether you've got them visible or not. This one's a little bit easier to see. Same with the mirrors as well, actually. See the mirrors? There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? No. There we go. So there we have it. That's the Massey Ferguson 8S Special Edition by Bandit 36FR. That's it for the mods for Tuesday the 18th of April. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.